Good morning, family. It's prayer time. Indeed, prayer still works. And as we dedicate this devotion to intercessors, to encourage believers to become intercessors, prayer warriors, and I want to take this time to give a shout out to Minister Patrice Bain, a prayer warrior, indeed, an intercessor. God bless you for the work that you're doing. Indeed, prayer works. God bless you. We encourage others to join in this great area. Indeed, it is a core value of the Christian faith of the believers. Prayer. Prayer is key. And Jesus, our greatest example, encourages us to pray. He said in Luke 18 and 1, a story that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And then he continued with a parable teaching us that we must be persistent. We must be consistent. And indeed, we must believe until God responds. And that's what I want to encourage us today. So if you're discouraged, if you're despondent, you need to pray. It might just be, Lord, help me. And if you are encouraged today, take time. Block some time out today to pray. So much to pray for. But as you enter the presence of God, He will indeed direct you as to who, to what to pray for. And when He does it, yes. The floodgates will open. God bless you today as believers everywhere pray. And those of us who don't understand it, we will take time. Read. Believe. Take Luke 18. Read that. And let's believe God. So let's pray. Let's intercede. Our government needs your prayer. Families. The boys who are perpetrating crime. Criminality. They need prayers. Law enforcement need prayers. Our nation, indeed, need prayers. We need to pray. But more importantly, you need prayer. We need to be in touch with heaven. We need to be in communication with heaven. We need to pray the word. And prayer still works. Changes things and people. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this medium to be in communication with you. You do declare that we are always to pray and not to think. More importantly, you prayed. You prayed in the garden. You prayed for men and women. You prayed so much when you're on earth that your disciples desire to pray like you. We will see the value in prayer and we will pray. We will earnestly pray today. Those of us who may be off from work, who may be on vacation, may today be a day of prayer, a day of crying out to God on behalf of things and situations and people and circumstance. Those of us who may be working, maybe in our spirit and our mind, pray. Thank you, Father. Like Hannah, she prayed, went in, and you heard her. And I thank you that we will operate today in the highest order at this very core value prayer. And we give you thanks. We praise you for those who are beginning their journey as intercessors today. We call for it. And we thank God that they will join in today in prayer. And as we pray, we remember those who lead the nations, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, those and their families, we commend them to you. Help us to pray for leaders of the body of Christ. Indeed, pray for those who lead civil society, those who lead in government, those who lead in corporate. May we pray. Thank God for the peace of Jerusalem today. And help us to continue to pray for families everywhere. So much to pray for. We pray for those young men and women perpetrating crime and criminality. We thank you that the blood of Jesus is applied to them. And today, they will change because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the weak be strong today, that the poor be rich. We declare believers today to be overcomers. We pray. And we thank you for intercessors everywhere. We pray you strengthen, you preserve, and cause us to indeed be strong in you, in your power, and in your might. We honor you today as we pray, as we intercede, as we follow the greatest example 
Jesus the Christ, who prayed in the garden, who prayed while he's on the cross, hallelujah, who's praying now, who's forever lived to make intercession. We follow after you. We follow hard after you today. We pray, we seek you, and we thank you, hallelujah. God, we thank you. We thank you for the hunger and the thirst for your righteousness. The hunger and thirst to follow after you. Teach us as we enter your presence today. And we honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and keep you today as we seek God. As we pray, we honor the Lord. For prayer changes things and people. And yes, minister the trees. Prayer works. God bless you in your ministry today. So you seek God. Encourage others to pray. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.